Have you ever had a market that's super slow, maybe for 30 minutes, an hour, maybe even the whole market where you have barely any people coming into your booth, you're starting to get discouraged, and you kind of feel like you're just wasting your time? I've definitely been there, and in this video, I want to give you some of the things that I do whenever I have those slow markets to help boost up my spirits and to just help me feel like I'm being productive with that time whenever there's a lull. Hey friends, if you're new here, I'm Natalie. I run a crochet business called Honey Flower where I make and sell my own plushies. I made this channel because I wanted to take you along with me and share all the tips and tricks and quirks I've learned from running a small business. I've been in business now for a little over a year and I definitely don't know it all, but I definitely feel like I have something to share, so that's why I'm here, and I'm really glad you're here too. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, definitely go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. Alright, let's get into it. So one of the first tips that I wanted to share whenever I'm having a slow market is I immediately take out my phone and start creating content. So I'll start walking around my booth, taking photos and videos of all my different products that are set up. And it's honestly the perfect time because, you know, at home for me, a lot of the times I, I have to clean up a space in my house to even take photos because sometimes things get messy, you know, that's life. Um, but at the market, everything is set up and it's nice looking, right? Because that's the way it's supposed to be at the market. And so it's already pretty. I don't have to take the time to clean it up. I can just immediately start snapping those photos. So it really works out perfectly. And this is also a great tip if maybe you have a small lull for like 10 or 15 minutes, or if you have a 30 minute lull, you can really take the photos and videos in a short amount of time or a long amount of time, depending on how slow your market is. So sometimes I'll walk around in my booth, snap a few photos, and then if I see some customers approaching, I can easily go back and sit in my seat and just be ready with a smiling face for them. I think this is also a really great thing to do because sometimes at the market, I'll, I'll get a different type of creativity than I would at home. I'll start getting different ideas for, for reels that I could make with the videos I'm making, or maybe I'll try a new camera angle for one of my products and it works really well. And so it's definitely really cool to just get that cre the creativity flowing with content creation at your market setup and just get some new ideas that you would normally get at home. And I don't only use the content that I'm creating for Instagram or YouTube. I can also use it online on my Etsy shop as well for product photos. So it's really a win-win all around. Another tip that I wanted to share with you, and I know not everyone will be able to do this one, but something that I like to do is bring a project to work on whenever I have downtime at markets. So while I'm packing up all of my supplies and inventory into my car, I will usually take a few minutes to pick out some yarn and think of a, a simple project that I can work on during the market. It's got to be something that I can do without thinking too much into it, something that I'm really familiar with so I don't have to be glancing at my phone, looking at a pattern, and it, I also want it to be easy so that if people are coming into my booth, I can put that down, give them my full attention, and greet them with a smile, and then pick it back up without wondering where I left off. So this is a really great tip because not only does it give you something to feel productive with in your downtime, but it also draws people into the booth, I find. Like if I'm crocheting and people are passing by, they'll point it out to their friends or Kids will point it out to their parents and it causes them to come into the booth and, and get curious and see what I'm working on. And they also get really excited and they'll start asking, you know, how long have you been doing this or how long does it take you to, to make a particular item? And so it's a really cool way to interact with them. And I think it also just opens their eyes, you know, as they're walking by, they know that, that my stuff is handmade, but whenever I'm, I'm making it in front of them, it kind of just... It makes them a little more aware, you know, oh, she actually does make every single one of those products by hand and it takes time. And so I think it really opens their eyes in a new way. And, you know, when they first see it, it's like, oh, this is handmade. But then they see you making it. They're like, oh, it's handmade, if that makes sense. So I think it's a really cool way to just open the eyes of your customers and interact with them. And like I said, not everyone can do this. 
um, if you're the type of artist who maybe you require like a really elaborate setup to even make one piece, maybe you could bring something else to work on at the market, like preparing your tags or, you know, writing out prices on um, stickers to stick onto your tags or something like that. I I would say maybe like video editing or real editing, um, depending on how slow your market is, you know, if you still have people walking past, you don't really want to be glued to your phone or iPad or computer, but you know, if your market really is super slow, I think you could definitely pull out your iPad and just edit a two minute video to get it ready for a reel. So, you know, read the room and just kind of figure out what works for you, but definitely find something you can do to work on for your business during your market and it just feels good to be productive in that downtime where you're not selling to customers but you still can prepare for the next market you have my third tip for you is to take a little break again i know not everyone will be able to do this one but if you have someone who can stay at your booth for you or maybe a vendor friend next door who can watch it i think this is a great opportunity if you're feeling really discouraged to just take a little break even if it's five or ten minutes to just walk away from your booth. Maybe, you know, if, if you're in an area, like a lot of my markets are in downtown areas. So sometimes I'll walk away for a minute. Maybe I will grab like a little treat from a local shop. I always try to support local when I can. Maybe it's ice cream, you know, maybe it's a sandwich or a drink, but just something to kind of take your mind off of the market for a bit and just kind of refresh, you know, and just kind of look at it, uh, step back and look at it from the bigger picture, you know? And sometimes it can also be encouraging because you start walking around and you see the crowd of people that's getting ready to come past your booth. So, or, it, you know, it could be the opposite. It could be that you, you start walking around and you see there's literally no one there. That has happened to me. And it's discouraging, but, you know, like I said, sometimes it's good to walk away, take a breath, and then something I want to encourage you to do is just say a prayer. You know, whenever you, you take that five or 10 minute break, say a prayer to the Lord and just ask him to bring the people that are supposed to be at the market, bring them there and just to give you patience and just to trust him and know that every single thing that he has lined up is going to happen. You know, if, it, if it's in his plan, it's gonna happen. And he knows what's gonna happen from the start to the end of your market. And you know, even beyond that, obviously. Um, but it's encouraging to just know like God has a plan and sometimes he wants to use those slower markets to just teach you to trust in him and have patience and rely on him. And there are definitely going to be other markets where you feel, you know, that he's sending all these people to your booth. So, you know, you have to be happy in, in the downtime and content in the downtime to be content and excited in the busy time as well. So just a reminder, you know, no matter how busy or slow it is, just praise the Lord and trust him and, you know, just, just take those little breaks to just refresh and just ask the Lord to come into your heart and remind you what you're really there for. The last tip that I want to share with you is to go around and explore what the other vendors are offering and get to know them a little bit. Again, I know you may not be able to leave your booth or you may not feel comfortable doing that. But I'm sure that the vendors next to you would be more than happy to watch your booth for a few minutes. You know, you don't have to go far. You can just go one or two booths down and just get to know the people around you a little bit. You know, ask connecting questions. You know, how long have you been doing this? Or where did you learn to do this? What's your favorite product that you've made? Just get to know them and spend some time chatting with people who are like you, who have similar interests to you. It's so encouraging to, to meet other small business owners because so many people don't realize like how much time we put into our small businesses. You know, they don't realize all of the passion products, pro, oof, passion projects we have. They don't realize, you know, the waking up at 3 a.m. and thinking, oh, I should do this tomorrow or, oh, I didn't do that today. You know, they don't realize that we work 24 seven is what I'm trying to get at. And it's awesome to make friends with other people who get it, you know? And one of the best places to do that is at events, you know, because 
most likely you're going to see them at another event. You'll get to connect even more and you can learn so much from those other vendors. You know, ask them, what are your favorite events that you've gone to? Or can you recommend any events that I should check out? And I've learned that every single person that you meet has something that you can learn from them. So just take that opportunity. You know, if your market's slow, connect and, and learn from the people that are around you and just make new friends. And something else that I really like to do is choose a vendor to uh, share about whether I buy a product from them or not. I like to take pictures of their booth and, you know, tag them on Instagram in my story or post um, and just connect in that way, you know, because it's, it's so meaningful. You know, we know, we all know how it feels. Blech, I can't get my words out. We all know how it feels when other people support and and tag us for our small business. So why not share the love and support somebody else in their small business? All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, definitely click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, you can comment down below. Or if you've got ideas for videos you'd like to see in the future, definitely let me know and I'll make it happen. Bye, guys.